My name is Brian P. Cleary. The P stands for Patrick, in case you were wondering. Um, I am a Lakewood-born author, and I have uh, visited 500 schools in my long career as an author. I've been in 42 of the 50 states, and I've also been in parts of Europe and Canada, and even done some Zoom uh, meetings in South Korea and other places like that. I'm going to be sharing from um, three different books today, and this first one is called I Saw an Invisible Lion Today. It's a book of quatrains, and it goes like this. I saw an invisible lion today and 14 invisible leopards and 30 invisible sheep being led by seven invisible shepherds. I saw an invisible baby giraffe who ate from invisible trees. I watched as he shook an invisible nest that was filled with invisible bees. I saw an invisible penguin who skated upon an invisible rink along with a group of invisible skunks who had made an invisible stink. I saw an invisible clown who was juggling three highly invisible balls as he jumped back and forth on invisible horses running out of invisible stalls. I saw an invisible witch as she cackled atop her invisible broom. It's pretty amazing the things that I saw without ever leaving my room. This next one is from a book of list poems and the title is called Underneath My Bed. And this is called Great Grandmother's Pet Store, about an old timey pet store from the old days. Great grandmother ran a popular shop, according to grandma and daddy. Customers came from all over the state to her pet store in West Cincinnati. She had chickens, chihuahuas, chinchillas, and chipmunks, greyhounds, and geckos, and geese, pelicans, poodles, and panthers, plus parrots, which sold for a dollar apiece. Kangaroos, kittens, koalas, and kiwis would play on the shop's second floor. It's always such fun to hear Grandma and Daddy tell tales of Great Grandmother's store. This last one is from a book called Rainbow Soup, Adventures in Poetry, and it is about a cat who spends all day on the internet. It is called My Cat Bites. Some cats like to prowl, and some even growl, while others would rather take naps. But my Mrs. Mittens, an internet kitten, is fonder of laptops than laps. Unlike other cats, this one downloads and chats and is constantly checking her email. An ad she has posted has recently boasted she's a young single Siamese female. With paws soft and quick, she'll type and she'll click, do some research or maybe some shopping, she bookmarks new sites, she surfs and she writes, or she'll scan in some photos for swapping. It's simply absurd. She's an internet nerd who ignores all the rest of the house. What cat would admit it would ever see fit to enjoy so much time with a mouse? That is from Rainbow Soup. Thanks so much for listening and stay safe.